rats. Squirrels that failed the charisma check. Averaging six to eight inches in length and capable of reaching speeds up to eight miles per hour, these little goblins can have an IQ as high as 105 and kill up to 200 million Europeans given they don't know how to wash their hands. Kill tacular. Now imagine what it would feel like to wield that power for yourself. This is so cool. <laughs> I'm a red. I'm getting ahead of myself though, because almost exactly one year ago, I stumbled across an SCP VR game that I really liked. You take this, and I'll take this, okay? Thanks. I'm sure you'll be fine. It was well made, it was scary, and when I streamed it, the dev showed up and showed me how to beat it. Oh, oh, what are you? Listen, hey buddy, what are you? To this day, those streams are by far the most watched VODs on the second channel. Oh, I forgot to blink! Hey! But fast forward two years, yes, this is me from the future, and I get a DM from a name I recognize. It was the dev, and he says to me, hey, I made a horror game with gorilla tag motion controls where you play as a rat. Sign me up. What a truly inspired idea. This was all I was thinking when I was sprinting to the Steam store to buy this game. I might as well have not even read the word horror. Trash, it's some trash, I'm really getting into this. And I would like to point out that at the time of recording this voiceover, this game has two reviews. The scariest words in the English language are two user reviews, but more on that later. All I could think about was rat immersion. Wow, the world is so big from down here. I'm so small and so dirty. I wanted to experience VR rat immersion. Rat immersion, if you will. I wanted to be rat immersed. I have an overwhelming urge to eat garbage and spread disease. The gorilla tag movement was genius in gorilla tag because it was fun, and sure, it felt kind of gorilla-ish. That was me gorilla smashing my finger, but man if it isn't perfect for making you feel like you're walking on all fours. Oh my god, the noises. Ooh. Uh oh. Okay. But what sucks though, is that the novelty and the enjoyment of rat immersion was interrupted almost immediately by pure terror. Oh, this is so spooky. I hate this actually. Why is there no music? You start the game outside at the entrance to a sewer and there's a CRT monitor out front explaining that a fellow rat friend of yours is trapped in the sewer and you need to bring them out. And that's it. Find the lost rat, help it escape. Aww. Aww. There's no menus, there's no start button, there's no dialogue, no HUD, nothing. No music, no cars, no people, just sewer noises coming from a giant black hole that I now had to enter if I wanted to do anything. Well, that was when I remembered, ah yes, this is a horror game, where while looking for your lost rat friend, you are also being chased by some unidentified thing. Ooh. Why the game lag? Well, just spawned in. In the description of this game, it doesn't say if it's a person or a snake or a rat ghost. It just says something. Oh, there's so many shadows moving in the corners that freak me out. I'm like, I have consistent goosebumps on my little rat arms. Fear of the unknown is powerful, and walking through these sewers for the first time was constant goosebumps, which I applaud. That's cool that this game was able to undeniably scare me like that. Why am I playing this at night? That was a critical mistake. Now, before I say anything else, Please, honestly, give me your answer. What do you think is chasing the rat in this game? Because I just want to see how wrong you are. Come on, just get it over with. Show yourself, come on. I thought after the first death in this game that it wouldn't be nearly as scary anymore because the fear of the unknown would be gone. But you know what's just as scary as fear of the unknown? This thing. Um, starting to have less fun? Huh, <gasps> what the? No, 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 no. Hey. How's it going? You're cool if I pause the video here, right? Cool, cool. Cause I gotta yell at the Atomic Mirror Brains. Here's the time code to get back to this thing if you really wanna get back to this thing. I'm putting you in a bit of a rock and a hard play situation because you're either listening to pointless, obnoxious name calling or Baphomet over here. It's hard to test me. <laughs> Meet G. Oh, 
messy pages. We're really just gonna leave this one up, huh? Praise walls are Abby, please read this as an interruption somewhere. And two hips. You know, I know you did this so you could match your Twitch username, but I I could tell that hips and two hips were most likely the same person when you said, hi, I'm hip. Stop it. Get some help. This f***ing abomination, holy f***ing sh seeing this hell spawn as a life-size seven foot long poltergeist in VR is awful. Just awful. Yeah, no, no, absolutely not. I'm done, I'm done. I did find the other rat, eventually. Holy oh, oh my god. Oh, that scared me so bad. But we would always, and I mean always, run into the meat man before escaping, and that would be that. Oh, no, why, why? And again, it's a brand new game, so there's no rat community to ask about how to combat this thing. What do we do? What do we do? What do I do? Which, speaking of rat community, this is something that could only happen in our group of people. There's a guy in our smooth brain Discord server whose whole shtick is that he likes rats. For the past three years, every account, every profile picture, everything he's done on the internet has all been rat related. He streams with a rat face cam. So naturally, I promoted him to server administrator with complete control over our 20,000 plus member Discord server. But Tribal, if you don't stream this game, I, I don't. I just feel like you've unknowingly waited your entire life for this moment. Ooh, parkour rat, let's go. You, Tribal, should stream this game. Me, I just died, mostly. I just had my soul devoured by the physical manifestation of evil while sweating from both fear and exhaustion. Wow, this has just been such a pleasure. I, I'm such a lucky boy. I can't wait to go home. So I will attempt to beat this game on stream today, but it's not... There's no way. And after three years, I'm finally on the last mission of Into the Radius, so I'll probably just use today for that. Oh my god, it's the final mission. But yeah, that's what's going on in my life. Rat game. What about you? You got anything exciting going on? What are you doing right now? You on the toilet? You in public? Can I flash anime girls on the screen to embarrass you on the butt? Like this video if you want to. But love yourself, even if you are a rat. And if you give me the privilege of your rat time again, then I will see you... Uh, in Tribal's chat, where I will be watching him play this game. Tribal, I don't care if you don't have VR. I don't care if you don't have a computer. I don't care if you don't have food or water. Figure this out. It looks so good with the face cam. That's it. That's what I have to say. Goodbye.